welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss logarithms and anti-logarithms from tables. First of all we discuss to find logarithms from tables. This is the form of a logarithm table which is divided into three sets of columns. This extreme left column, that is, this column is headed by a vacant square and in this column we have the numbers from 10 to 99. Now the next set contains 10 columns which are headed by the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Then the next set of columns is for the mean difference. In which we have 9 columns headed by the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Now suppose we need to find log of 841.7 from the table that is from the logarithm table. First of all let's see what would be the characteristic. Now as you can see that there are three digits before the decimal point. So 3 minus 1 that is 2 would be the characteristic. Now as the characteristic is 2, so this means that log of 831.7 would be equal to 2 point something and that is the decimal part is the mentisa and we will now find the mentisa from the logarithm table. Now to find the mentisa, we will consider the number without the decimal point that is 8417. Now, our first step to find the mentisa would be look for the number 84 that is the first two digits from the left and we will look for the number 84 in the extreme left column of the table that is this column and suppose we have the number 84 here now the next digit after 84 in this number is 1 so we find the number in the row of 84 and under the column headed by the number 1. That is, we will move in the row of 84 and we will find the number under the column of 1 and in the row of 84 and that number is 9248. So in this step we find out the number as 9248. Now after the digit 1 we have the digit 7. So next we find the number in the row of 84 and In the column of 7, in the mean differences column. So we will move in the row of 84 and now we will find the number 
in the column headed by 7 in the column of mean differences and here the number is 4. So here we find the number to be 4. So now we will add these two numbers that is 9, 2, 4, 8 and 4 and we get 9, 2, 5, 2. So the multi star is 9, 2, 5, 2. So now we have log of 841.7 is equal to 2.9252. So this is how we can find the log of any number using the logarithm tables. Next let's see how to find the empty logs from the tables. If suppose we have log of x to the base a is equal to k, then this x is the empty log of k to the same base a. Now as we have already found out that log of 841.7 is equal to 2.9252. Now let's find out the empty log of 2.9252 using the tables. Empty log table is also the same as the logarithm tables that is it is also divided into three similar sets of columns. Now in this number 2.9252 2 is the characteristic and 0.9252 is the multi sum. Leaving the characteristic we will consider the multi sum 0.9252 so first of all, we will find the number point nine two in the extreme left column of the table. Now the next digit after nine two is five. So next we find the number in the row of 0.92 and in the column headed by 5. So when we move in the row of 0.92 and in the column headed by 5, we find the number to be 8414. Now after the digit 5, we have the digit 2. So next, we find the number in the row of 0.92. And in the column of the mean differences headed by 2. In this, the number that we get is 4. So next we will add these two numbers that is 8414 and 4 which is equal to 8418. As we know that in this number the characteristic is 2 that is since the characteristic is 2 so the required number, which is the empty log of the given number, will have 2 plus 1, that is 3 digits in its integral part. So 
in the number 8418 we will place decimal point three digits from the left that is from here we will move three digits and we keep the decimal point here so finally we have np log of 2.9252 is equal to 8418 Approximately. So this is how we can find the empty log of a given number using the tables. Now consider another example in which we need to find out the empty log of two bar point zero six. So for this also we will leave the characteristic that is two bar and we will consider the mantisa part that is point zero six. So we find the number in the row of point zero six, and in the column headed by zero. Since we have no digit after six. And that number is one one four eight. Now, as the characteristic in this number is two bar, so the required number, that is the empty log of the given number. Must have one zero immediately to the right of the decimal point. So. When we put a zero after the decimal point, so we have point zero one one four eight, or you can say zero point zero one one four eight. Thus, empty log of two bar point zero six is equal to zero point zero one one four eight. Now let us see if we can find. The empty log of the number minus one point three nine one five. Now consider the number minus one point three nine one five. This is written as minus one minus zero point three nine one five. As you can see in this case, the mantisa is negative, so we cannot find the empty log in this case as the mantisa is negative. So we make the mantisa positive by adding and subtracting one between the integral and the fractional part of the given number. So this is equal to minus one minus one plus one minus zero point three nine one five. So we write this as minus two plus zero point six zero eight five. Which is equal to two bar point six zero eight five. So this means we need to find the empty log of two bar point six zero eight five. Two bar point six zero eight five is same as minus one point three nine one five. We already know how to find out the empty log for such numbers. So Using tables, we get empty log of two bar point six zero eight five is equal to zero point zero four zero six zero, or we can say that empty log of minus one point 
3915 is same as 0 0.04060. We cannot find the empty log of a number if the mentisa part is negative. And to make the mentisa part positive, we need to add and subtract 1 between the integral and the fractional parts of the given number. So, this completes the session. Hope you have understood how to find the logs and anti-logs from the tables.